Hello Internet, Magic Man here again from MMOBomb.com, and today we're taking our first look at War of the Immortals, another game brought to you by Perfect World Entertainment, the same company that did Perfect World, uh, Forsaken World, and Rusty Hearts. If you want to find out more information on the game, check out MMOBomb.com, and please, as always, remember to rate and comment on the movie below. Now, I did spend some time in this game during the closed beta session. The game has just opened up yesterday, in fact, December 1st, for the open beta. And anyone that would like to play can, of course, check it out there. If you were a part of the closed beta, you'll actually get a Vanguard item when the open beta ends. However, who knows when there will be knowing Perfect World. So let's take a look here at character creation first. As you see, we've got eight different classes to choose from. Berserker, Magus... Uh, or Magus, uh, Champion, Heretic, Slayer, Duelist, Enchantress, and Ranger. Now, Perfect World heard you like a little bit of fast leveling, and at least in the closed beta, we'll have to take a look at the open beta, the closed beta I spent three hours playing the game and was level 37 by the end of those three hours, so we'll have to see what they've done to maybe slow that down or not slow it down. <laughs> So Duelist is the latest class that they've gone into some detail on their website. It's a magic slash um, melee type damage, similar to, uh, if you're familiar with World of Warcraft, similar to a Death Knight melee with the, the magic abilities thrown in as well. So let's get our character created here. And you'll see the graphics are pretty consistent with Perfect World and the character type, uh, very uh, anime style. So, oh, we got to throw in our birthday here, so we're going to get a zodiac sign. We'll use... yeah, sure, why not. And this will make us a Pisces, and we'll be a uh, male, female... Oh, well, yeah, we'll go with the female. Haircut, hairstyles, face styles, and the avatar. So, not much on the whole character creation here. There's not a lot of customization you can do. So, we'll just click random, and we'll go with that. Looks good. Let's get logged into the game here. Now, the first thing you'll notice, uh, if you're a Perfect World or Forsaken World fan, this game has a uh, isometric camera style, not the typical MMO. So this is more in the vein of a Diablo. Uh, oh man, I can't wait for Diablo 3. Oh, anyway, sorry, I got sidetracked there. Interface, pretty standard. You've got your action bar at the bottom, your different uh, functions across the, the right-hand side of the screen, mini-map, character information. About to uh, not be safe anymore, whatever that means. Movement, typical WASD, so we can buzz through that real quick. Now, the camera can be rotated. One thing I did not like, though, is as far as I've been able to find so far, uh, don't quote me, the camera cannot be panned up or down, so you're stuck with the isometric style here. So let's get a quest here. Right now, we have only need uh, 25 experience to level. However, we do have exhaustion. When your exhaustion is 100 over 100%, you will not receive experience or item drops from monsters. So we'll click here to receive my first quest. Boy, they make it easy to skip the quest text, don't they? Click here, click here, and apparently we're in our prologue. Up, oh, we can move our character automatically. That's great. So I'll take my hand off the mouse and just chat with you guys. I uh, kind of don't feel like I'm playing a game right now. And again, if you're familiar with Perfect World, they've got that in pretty much all of their games. Cash shop wise, yep, if you've played Perfect World games before, you do have the option to use uh, real hard cash to buy Zen, which can then be used in the cash shop, which we'll take a, a look at a little bit later in the game. Click here to complete the quest. Click here to accept completion. And there we go, level two already. I uh, clicked a hyperlink and gained a level. So let's see, hopefully they've slowed this down a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I did the first time around. Didn't even read the quest, don't know what I'm after here. Apparently a duelist's soul. Okay, so that's gonna be one of these mobs here. So we'll use our two abilities right now. It's just a normal attack. We've also got uh, execute. Darkness gathers on your weapon and attacks the target, dealing 104 magic damage. And apparently I killed it, didn't even realize it. Head on back to Valkyrie. Now the game itself is based heavily in Norse mythology. There's a whole uh, story with Odin and Loki and the, the war going on between those two rivals. Uh, it does take some creative liberties with, with the characters there, so if you're... Uh, 
hardcore into Thor and that type of mythology, yeah, they're, they're probably not getting things dead on the way you would like. So now we've got to go kill three Valkyrie servants. This is where I figured out in the closed beta real quick that you're going to level fast. I spent maybe 20 minutes just killing these things over and over again because you're going to see how fast the respawn rate is. I must have gotten up to about level 15 or 16. There we go, level 3. Uh, 15 or 16 just killing these things since the experience level is so low as far as what you need to level. Uh, I did notice, however, right now, like, we're gaining 18 experience here. The reason I stayed and did this is because it doesn't change. Uh, eventually, I'll build up uh, combos to the point where the experience that I gain per kill remains the same. Even if I'm 12 levels higher than the target, it still remains the same. Now, there's quite a few more people here than when I had played it in closed beta, so that may be a little harder to do, or you may have to have a little more patience than I did. But if you look at this uh, respawn rate, you're going to see that you can quickly jump ahead of the actual quest levels just by killing these guys here. Now, the game does reward... There we go, leveled again. Level 4, we're awesome. Well, it makes you feel good. I mean, it makes you feel like you're progressing. Level cap, I have no idea. There's so many things on the website that just aren't detailed out yet. Um, the game does have what they claim to be a very comprehensive set of uh, guild gameplay, guild uh, endgame, but the guild stu uh, support information is still coming soon on the website. So check it out, and I'm sure we'll do uh, some information on it on MMOBomb.com to keep you posted on how the game evolves. Click here to open my bag. So as you can see right now, we've got uh, quite a few bag slots. A lot of them are locked, but apparently if you stay online for 15 minutes, they'll give you those five bag slots. So we'll equip our trial sword. And we'll uh, equip our trial claw, so we've got a kind of dual-wielding thing here. And we've got the mega pack, or the box. This is pretty... And we've got an upgraded sword already. Pretty standard fare for uh, Perfect World games, where you get the box that's opened every couple of levels and get some items. I've received my deity's blessing. Click Receive Gift to add it to your bag. If I stay online for 10 minutes, I'll receive another gift. So the game's rewarding me just for being online. There's another aspect of that. See, I'm starting to build up a combo here. Now this combo is going to modify some of the experience I get. You'll notice that even though I'm now level 4, I'm still gaining 18 experience for these. Now at level 5, and still gaining 18 experience even though these are now one-hit kills. I'm not even using a special ability, just the regular attack. So just to kind of get you some different... Uh, views here. We're going to continue the quest chain. I won't sit there till level 15 like I did in the closed beta. And alright, we've got some sparkling armor. So it looks like the game's trying to outfit you with some gear really quickly. They teleported me to uh, Valhalla Temple. Uh, here I'm supposed to find Valkyrie again. There it is. Great! Quest is clear. Now, this is another aspect of the, the game that I did like from uh, the closed beta. It is very storytelling here. Now, don't expect anything like uh, heavy voice acting or things like that. You are going to have to read it, but it does put this nice little chapter one, chapter two spin on things, so you get a real story progression as you go. When you go through the chapters, it also tells you what level you'll be uh, in those particular levels. Now, <laughs> I will tell you, don't stick to the levels, guys. It, just because you're level 18 or 17, go on to chapter 1. Don't sit there and grind it out. Now, you may have to do that at later levels, I don't know, but for the first two or three chapters, I think I got to chapter 3 uh, during a one sitting on the closed beta, and I was at least five or six levels below those recommended levels. Skills can aid me in battle, so in case I hadn't noticed that I had a bar here, uh, they pointed out for me. Great. Alright, so typical fair quest-wise, kill five of these, kill four of these, come on back, uh, go and get me ten rabbit heads for no apparent reason, come on back, I'll give you a hug and some gold. Uh, so nothing new or terribly exciting in the way of uh, the actual quest targets here. Oh, it's time to open my beginner's mega pack. 
I did level. What are they going to give me? A ring. All right, we'll equip that. There's our chess piece. There's our reward from just playing the game. This increases physical and magical attack by 50 for 10 hours. <laughs> Man, this game does not screw around. Most games put those lovely, awesome uh, little tool tips in there. Right, let's go to our next target. Uh, you know, that remind you, um, I know Aeon for a long time, did they? <laughs> they may still do it, I don't know. The uh, the warning, you've been playing for an hour, go and take a break. <laughs> Not this game. This game wants you to sit and keep playing, and they will award you to do so. In fact, check this out. Let's go, and we're going to exit, get out of the game. You actually get paid a salary to stay online <laughs> and play the game. You must be online for at least two hours to receive the salary. You've been online for one hour and 53 minutes today. Well, clearly I have not. I just booted up the game, changed the graphic settings, went back and created a new character so that you guys could watch it. So I don't know where they're getting this time from, but obviously wrong. So we'll cancel that. The game pays you to not ever see the sun. I think that's fantastic. Uh, don't go outside, guys. You've got to earn your War of the Immortals salary. So again, we're not using any real uh, new abilities here, just our execute and our basic attack. Got to kill six of these guys. Now they're level five. I'm six. So this is getting pretty easy. I will tell you this, though. Uh, I've never come across, I can't say that, I have come across games that do pump out the experience at this type of rate, but um, during my time with the closed beta, the game actually did keep me interested. I, I could not tell you why. The story, obviously, I'm not reading. I'm just clicking through the quests and clicking on my target and going to do it and then clicking on the next target and running there. Like, I don't even know what we're doing now. Oh, Valhalla Rebels? Okay, so apparently we're trying to protect Valhalla. Uh, sure, fine. That, that's all well and good. Oh, I gotta kill ten of them. Okay. But for some reason, I could not turn it off, and believe me, it wasn't the salary. Uh, but hey, you know what? If, if that gets me to play the game, fine. I'm a little concerned with how and you guys have also always commented on these on the, the Perfect World uh, Entertainment videos. The whole concern with the pay-to-play, pay-to-win, uh, that type of aspect. So I'm a little concerned about what the cash shop might do to the end game or to the guild content that they have uh, planned for the game. That's always a concern. So, but other than that, it, it did keep me playing the game. So really can't complain about that. Here's... <laughs> look at this, though. I am not taking any damage. I have not stopped fighting. I'm not taking any damage at all. And I know it's early levels, but, man, these things just are not hitting me. Oh, alright. We've already killed 10, so we'll go and, and turn this one in now. All in all, graphics... Uh, you know, they're not bad. Uh, the environments are kind of nice in a... you know, in a... In a comic-y sort of way. Uh, that's not to say that they're kitty, but it, they're just colorful. Character design, you're used to seeing this from, from Perfect World. Oh, click for more details. So I've got a little scenario here. Forming a party with other players will increase your monster killing power. So I've got to read from the codex here. What's this going to do? Read the text. Oh, the uh, speaking of the dragon tongue summons the lava dragon. Okay, so maybe we'll get a little bit of a challenge here out of this guy. He's level eight. Oh, Emerly, if you stole my target, I'm gonna. Well, there's not much. I can do. Just rage face on my keyboard, I guess. Okay, so we're searching the lava dragon heart here. Hopefully get the lava energy. There's one. I have to click the exact same thing to get a second one. Okay. Didn't give me a second one. Come on. There we go. And we'll turn these back in there. So, uh, no real challenge out of the level 8 monster that uh, they recommended I group up for. However, I am level 8 now. So we've been on here for, what, 8 minutes and I'm already level 8? Let's equip some of this gear they just gave us. 
We've got the sparkling helm. Uh, it doesn't really change the character model. So, let's take uh, some of these gargoyles here. Awaken the gargoyle. And we've got to watch the animation as he awakens. And then finally we just kill him. Perfect! Yeah, the perfect perfect world emoticons are back. And we'll awaken the same gargoyle and go through the custom animation again. And kill the second one here. Okay, so if you guys were in the closed beta and you go to the open beta, uh, you'll see the advertisements letting you know the, about the Vanguard pack. Now, I kind of like this idea, and I haven't seen this from a lot of MMOs, but they're... You know, it always sucks to be in the betas and then have your stuff deleted. And we know, you know, you're testing the game. You're you're not really playing it, playing it. You're giving your feedback and finding glitches and things like that. But I really do like the idea of some type of reward for the people that that took the time to test it. So if you participated in the closed beta, when the open beta ends, they're going to give you a Vanguard pack. <clears throat> Look at that, a boulder just went right through me. No no damage or anything. I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, so the Vanguard pack, no, it gets you a little icon that shows up above your character where your nameplate is. But it also gets you a few other items that do... Oh, okay, now I'm huge. So I'm uh, apparently a revived soul now, looking for the Valkyrie War Lance. So let's go here and mess with Odin's horn. Boy, that would sound wrong with a different audience. Uh, so yeah, it, it gets you the... Uh, here's the Warlands. Gets you the title thing above your name. It's like a little crowny type thing. Gets you a couple in-game items, like an XP modifier for a certain length of time. And a couple other nice bonuses like that. And they make clear on there that it's a one-time only bonus. So you can never... Nobody's ever going to get those items again besides you. All right. Automatically learn my skills. Don't have to go to a trainer or anything. Mana Steel. Steals 50 magic and physical attack from the target. For every 50 magic and physical attack you have, you can steal an additional one. And Magic Mastery, a passive skill, just increases our magic attack. So great. Let's put these into... That one's a passive, so we don't need to do anything there. So here's our, our tool tips. So anyway, the um, the Vanguard pack, the, the little reward. One time only thing, they're not going to be able to buy it in the game later. So it's... Yeah, you may. It's not anything grand, but it's kind of cool to get a little bonus for taking your time to test a game when sometimes the games are just bloody awful during the beta phases. So we'll put on some more equipment that we're getting here. This is still our crap equipment. This was our... Oh, no, this isn't. Okay, so now the character model is changing a little bit, so it's just the helm uh, that isn't viewable. We can zoom in so that you can see the character model there. The armor is definitely changing. Got some nice pointy shoulder pads. Now the duelist has that whole demon arm thing going on. Uh, that's another key point in the story. And look at that. I went from like 600 HP to 2200 just for equipping some gear. Awesome. So now I'm a level 10 badass and I didn't do anything to do it and I only have one extra ability from what I started with here. I want to get, I know the video is running a little long here, and hey, I'm in the Elite Paladins. Awesome. But I do want to get to the first uh, type of instance, and I, I think it's coming up here as soon as we take this portal. Load times, nothing really to complain about there. They're pretty quick, and as I say, the, this one lasts a little longer than most of them. So now we're in Atlantis, which is the l in this game it's the last bastion of, of human civilization in this war-torn uh, environment. Yeah, okay, so we're coming up on an instance there. I can see the, the uh, portals are up ahead. So we travel to Atlantis, we gain our experience. <laughs> now right now, if you've been watching, you see the experience and chapter one, there we go. You see the experience has usually been about a thousand for each level. 
if you spend a couple of hours playing this and you get to level you know 25 30 things like that uh, you'll see that instead of using needing like 2800 like we do here all of a sudden there comes a point when you're gonna start needing 65,000 and you know 70,000 experience to level and you're like okay this is when the experience is gonna start to slow down no because the quest rewards spike to like 22,000 35,000 experience things like that now my exhaustion is starting I'm at point four so it's pretty slow I don't know what the exhaustions based on and if any of you participated in the uh, closed beta, you'll have to let me know if that was active in the closed beta, because I don't remember it being active, but I also wasn't paying attention. I was watching the experience. So I guess that might be the game's way of trying to limit the amount of experience you can get over a certain time, is just make your character exhausted, and then it requires some type of cooldown phase if you want the monsters to, to give you XP anymore, although... Uh, we're not gaining a ton of experience from monsters. We're gaining. Are, are you kidding me? I walked across a bridge, came back, gained two levels. Awesome. Um, so yeah, maybe that's their way of limiting the experience, but it doesn't say anything about quest experience, and that's where we're we're gaining all of our XP anyway. So let's take the portal out of Atlantis real quick here. Nice little. Lord of the Rings type visual. Alright, fine. And now we're at the Forsaken Ruins. Still over 2200 HP. Awesome. Quest clear. Over halfway to level. All I did was walk in a portal. Now the Chronicles have updated. Chapter 1 is uh, where we're at right now. We're starting to get into Chapter 1. So we'll go to Finn. Now I'm sure there's an awful lot of exploring you could do uh, in the game here. I'm I'm not doing it. I mean there's there's no reason not to. I'm a huge end game guy. You guys already know I, I can't stand PvP because I'm horrible at it, so I do the, the PvE stuff. So I'm all about, you know, get to max level or high level so you can start doing the, the end game stuff. So right now I can tell you that the, the game has We've been playing for over 15 minutes because we got our bag slot. So I think I've got to cut this one short. However, if you guys want to see more of uh, War of the Immortals, head on over to MMOBomb.com. Check out all the latest and greatest for all things pre free to play there. Of course, check out our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Make sure to rate and comment on the video below. And if you'd like to see more of War of the Immortals, I'd be happy to play this for you and, and give you another look at it, especially maybe around level 25, 35. I think that's always nice to come back and touch on the games after you've had a first look and see... Okay, the first look was nice, but is it really worth playing as you get further into it? So, give me some feedback. Tell me what you guys want to see on the website, and we'll see if we can make it happen for you. Hope you liked the video. You guys have a great time, and as always, I'll see you out on the servers.